Welcome back, Portmasters. SCL Matt here with another live unboxing. This is one of my favorite things to do. Uh, ha haven't had an unboxing for a few days, and even the ones I have had have been smaller, including like the most recent one, which was all of two pieces to unbox. We had that flocked uh, uh, unboxing. But today, that's going to change a little bit. Not only are we going to have two unboxings today, I only have one box right now, but um, two unboxings will be coming eventually. So we'll we'll see what's going on here. Uh, Wolf Shadow, that one cookie, Collection Fanatics, welcome. Master Brobo, welcome, welcome. Hoping for that UFO hat. Uh, you, you and me both, you and me both. Um, you never know. I... I yeah, I have a lot of stuff coming in this week. It's going to be a, a grand old time. I'm looking forward to it. Chase, welcome, welcome. Okay, um, so as most of you know, Mondays are a pretty busy day for me. Uh, usually I have my, my normal uh, gameplay stream, and then I have to cut that off because I have to go prep for my podcast and do the podcast at night. I still have to record the podcast at night. I prepped yesterday because I knew today was going to be a busy day. So, um, yeah, but let's just leave it at that and say, um, that I am going to be pushing this a little bit faster than usual, probably, but we'll see how it goes. Alec Windmiller, welcome for, thank you for joining. John, welcome. Be the gamer. Look at that cool new thumbnail. That right there is the man responsible for my cool new thumbnail. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I hope everybody took note of it. If you didn't, go back and look at it later. It's fantastic. Um, I'll be using that for all my unboxings going forward. Um, the data for the each unboxing is going to be right there in the thumbnail. So you can see like where I got it, how much I paid, how big the lot is, um, all that type of stuff. So. Go go check that out, Ninja Bread. Welcome, welcome. I believe this is one of our, one of our new VIPs that I just uh, welcomed to the family last night. I think so. That's cool to see you here. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Alec. Yeah, uh, Neil and Crash are on sale this week, I believe. So I wouldn't wait too long on those. Those, those might go out of stock pretty quickly. I know I've sold a few crash this week already. So, yep, subscribe, comment, like. You know you know the routine. You know the routine. Subscribe, comment, like. You got it. Stump smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And exactly. Be the gamer. That, that, that was one of his many contributions to that artwork. Um <laughs> Got got to make it a real lot. Got to make it a real lot. We've had some trouble with that in in recent recent openings. So, um, all right, let, let's get started on this. Um, I hope you saw the the box in the picture. It's too big for me to hold up here because it's one of those bigger lots again. I have it down on the floor here, uh, so I can have, keep my table clear and we can keep this moving. Uh, right on top here, there's this nice piece of foam. So I like to see that. That's usually a good sign but we'll toss that to the side got some packing paper in here to fill in the space good sign all right i guess we actually have some more storage containers as well so we got another one of the green bags this is the ssa um green like duffel bag type of container um, this will be for sale in the shop as well. I, I have one up there right now if anyone's interested, but yeah. So let's see what's in the first container. And we have a very interesting piece. Um, well, I think this is going to be an auction item then. So what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> um, 
So if you can't tell, this is actually a Nitro Crypt King. Um, but apparently someone wanted a regular Crypt King. And so uh, they took it upon themselves to try to fix that. Um, that's that's interesting. Uh, it's not a good paint job. Thin your paints. If you're going to use paint, thin your paints. Um, but yeah, so haven't had to deal with this yet. But this is something that we will, uh, like, I, I've I've kind of prepped for this in the back of my head. I knew it would happen eventually. I'm gonna come across some like custom figure that someone made, and uh, well, now I have a solution for that. We have the auctions. So assuming this figure still works in game, um, this will be an auction item. Prob I probably as soon as next week, this Saturday. Um, so check that out if you're interested in a probably probably a cheap Nitro Crypt King. Um, check out the auctions this Saturday. So that'll be there. Anyway, moving on, we have one of my boys, Shortcut. <laughs> you get painting over a normal, but not a very nuts. I that's what I say. When when Trap Team was coming out, Nitro Crypt King was uh, 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 honestly easier to find than Crypt King was. And so I think I think that's probably what happened. Like I said, the kid probably wanted the regular version. They could only find the nitro version. And you know, mom probably said, Hey, well, you can paint it when we get home. You make it just make it look the same. It's, it's just a color. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um painted over a crystal clear stealth elf. Oof. Oof. That's rough. <laughs> straight walked up out of the tar pits yes all right um we, we do have our snapshot it actually seems to be intact so there you go a lot of trap team in here it looks like uh we got a gear shift and we got ourselves a blaster mine There's Riptide. Got ourselves a Series 2 Frino. Hog Wild Frino. And here is Gil Grunt. Deep Dive Gil Grunt from uh, Superchargers. Wonderful fam. I think everybody feels bad for Sunburn. You got to feel bad for Sunburn. I, I was going to say got left out in the cold, but not quite. He's sunburned. Um, we got Series 1 Slam Bam. And a Series... Not a Series. Light Core Whirlwind. Uh, wow. Wake up, Matt. Wake up, Matt. Might have to go grab some caffeine after this. Um, Light Core Warnado. There we go. Warnado. The box's namesake. There you go. Uh, we got ourselves Zulu. Uh, bottom half. Uh, oh, someone was just asking about this. About a. Uh... Nope. Nope. Wait. No. No. Okay. Calm down, Matt. There's Freeze Blade. Got ourselves a Freeze Blade, which I think was out of stock, so that's cool. I know someone was asking about Nitro Freeze Blade, and I was getting excited, but no, this is just standard Freeze Blade. There is a Spitfire. And Series 1 Igniter. Got ourselves Stormblade. Alec, do not speak ill of Zulu. Zulu is highly underrated. 
highly underrated. All right. Uh, Ghost Roaster. Good to have him back in stock. Usually sells out pretty quickly. So if you're interested, get there fast. Uh, Rattleshake. Another one of my undead boys. Got ourselves a Series 1 Jetvac. And more starter pack figures with Food Fight. And, well, I was going to say our first variant, but I guess our first variant was technically the Nitro Crypt King. Anyway, kickoff countdown. Skylanders Enjoyer, Dan, welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. Uh, we have Series 1 Lightning Rod. Kobe, welcome as well. Yeah, I, a lot of people had a hard time finding Ghost Roaster because I mean he was in that in that pack, right? In in Dark Light Crypt, and it it was tough to come around for a while, um, but it helped when they kind of reproduced it. Got a few more out in the wild. Dan, nice. Metallic purple lightning round for 20 pounds with 30 other figures. I love it. I love it. Shopping local, folks. Find those deals. All right. We've got ourselves a Lobstar. Uh, his stars are starting to go clearer here. Um, there's a little hint of blue, especially in this one. It's hard to see on camera. It's just going to be hard to see. Um, so they're not completely clear. Like that first one we got, actually, like this star is actually pretty clear. There's still a little bit of blue in this star. Um, but I, I had people ask me about like the the crystal clear traps and stuff like that. And I, I explained to them on Twitter, like it, it was a process over the course of a year. Uh, we went from very dark blue to lighter blue to kind of a mix between blue and clear, kind of like this. And then eventually we got stuff that was just all clear. Um, the, the air and the water elements, both the traps and trap masters, their weapons, because they use the same material and the same coloring. Um, so yeah, Th this one, I mean, it, unless someone reaches out to me and specifically says, Hey, I want this one. It'll probably just go in the shop because it's like I said, it, it's, it's that in between ground. I'm not going to specifically pull it out and say, yeah, this is something special. We had that one that was like all clear and I did sell that one privately. Um, but yeah, if anyone's interested, let me know. Otherwise, uh, it'll just be in the shop and somebody will end up with it. All right. All right. All right. Uh, is it common for the magic rocket to fade color? Not usually. I, I, I don't see too many magic ones that are even light purple but all right um ooh, here's a nice one haven't had an, oh no sad day that's rough okay well here's a flip rack and this will probably be nice for someone, but um, there is a bit of damage here. So you can see on his hand there, and the, the tip of the sword, the hilt got nibbled off a little bit. There's some bite marks on the hand, and then up here on the sword as well, um, there there is some damage there. So this, unfortunately, is probably going to be an auction item. Like I said, unless someone contacts me privately, um, actually, I'm going to, before I forget, set the Crypt King aside too. Um, so yeah, if you came in late, um, this was the first item we opened. It's a Nitro Crypt King, but it was painted on. Uh, so this will be an uh, auction item as well, unless someone wants to buy it privately before that. But yeah, that's unfortunate with Flipwreck because... Like, I mean, it, it's minor damage overall, 
but I would hate to say, hey, here's a perfectly good uh, flip wreck, and then someone's surprised. It's like, oh, um, you didn't mention that. So either a private sale or auction item, whatever it ends up being, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, it'll be a good deal for somebody. That's for sure. All right. Uh, hothead. First giant of the lot. Got ourselves a hoot loop. And there is big bubble pop fizz. Another one of my favorites here. Cobra Cadabra. I think he's been out of stock for a while too. So jump on this one. Fantastic figure. I mean, just out of game and fantastic to play with in game. Highly recommend. Uh, we got ourselves a series two shroom boom. Sure shot shroom boom, if you will. Loose Donkey Kong starter pack for 25 bucks. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, so I'm assuming that came with the figures, vehicle, um, portal, and game. I mean, it's it's not a bad deal. It's maybe average, but I'll take it. Yeah, still looking for King Cobra Cadabra. Well, keep an eye out. We might we might have one coming up this week. Um, I I know I just found my first one up there on the shelf, but. Yeah, the King Cobra Cadabra is even better than Cobra Cadabra. So good. Anyway, we have Series 2 Double Trouble. And there's a Scorp, who I believe is also on sale this week. Uh, Collection Fanatics, the, the best thing I can tell you is go look at the shop, uh, skylanderscharacterlist.com slash shop, and search for them there. Um, I think Flipwreck goes somewhere between 15 and 20 on my site, uh, which you, uh, it, my site is going to be typically, my goal is to be slightly cheaper than what they're going for on eBay. Um, so if they're going for 15 on my site, they're probably going for 20 on eBay. If they're going for 20 on my site, they're probably going for 30 on eBay. So uh, I, yeah, I think Flipwreck is somewhere in the 15 to 20 range. <laughs> yeah alec go go check out those sale items um you, you can either go to skylanderscharacterlist.com slash sale to find all those or there's a link directly from the home page of stl you can uh find the sale items there just like you can find the auction items just like you can find uh um everything everything should be right there on the front page all right i've had a few people asking recently for Astro Blast. I don't know if you're looking for a legendary Astro Blast, but got him today. Haven't seen him in a while. And hey, we were talking about him earlier. Sunburn. There we go. Also back in stock. It's been a little while. SEO might be your favorite website. That's what I love to hear. That's what I like to hear. You got Flipwreck for $3 at a flea market. Nicely done. That's what I'm saying. Shop local. Shop local. You'll find great deals. I, I, I know that it'll, it, it'll hurt my my shop in the long run, but um, like the deals are out there and, and shopping locally, you're going to find the best deals, whether it's flea markets or garage sales or Facebook marketplace or whatever the case may be. Go for it. All right, uh, we got ourselves a Series 2 Hex. One of the better Hex figures. Doesn't break quite as often either. Uh, we got ourselves a Legendary Ignitor. And kaboom. 
another good looking trap trap master there. This one always gets me. It's super hefty. Like it's kind of like a uh, thumpback was in the day, right? Um, just you pick him up and he's got some good heft to him. Feel like you could uh, throw this like a baseball and it would survive. All right, there is Hot Dog with his tail intact. So everything's looking good there. Uh, we got High Volt. And a Series 2 Eruptor. We got a Series 1 Wrecking Ball. Here's another nice guy. Make sure he doesn't have any damage this time. But we got ourselves Fling Kong. I love this guy in game too. Like I, I love the designs of Fling Kong and Flipwreck, but I, I'd much rather play with Fling Kong in game. So check that one out. Got uh, Series 1 Zook. Chatterbug, welcome back. I haven't seen you in a couple days, I think. And we have bottom half of Trap Shadow. So we'll set that aside. We've been doing pretty good with both pieces coming together. But, um, all right, last piece in this bag for now. But it's a big one. I know somebody will be happy to see this. Uh, we got ourselves another spotlight. I feel like I need, whenever I say spotlight, like the light should dim and the spotlight should come on. And yeah, something should go on there. But yeah, we're doing well today. Like I hope hope it doesn't end. Uh, but yeah, the flip wreck, even though it was a little bit damaged. Um, we got a fling Kong, got a spotlight. I th things are going well. I'm liking this a lot. But yeah. So another good looking spotlight there. Nice and clean. And rubbed up a little bit against some other figures probably, but <laughs> Where am I buying these lots? Well, that's what I was saying. Go back and check the thumbnail. I will always tell you where I get these lots. So this specific one came from eBay. So. All right. So that is the end of this bag right here. Once again, this will also be for sale in the shop once I get it up there. But we're not done with this lot. This lot is still not done. Uh, Joseph, you have not missed a tree rex. We have not hit a tree rex yet. So is this a real lot? We'll find out. All right. A lot of talking, a lot of water. Take a drink. Uh, looks like we have another uh, container here. So this is that blue circular container. We've had one of these before as well. Too. Yeah, because this is the one that has the original... Um, sketch of sunburn with the giant fangs and everything. So it's a nice, it's another nice case. Um, I think I, I had it in the shop. I think I sold this one though. So I got another one. Hey, what do you know? Hey, here we go. Here we go. Let's make it official. Boom. There's our tree Rex. Um, wonderful fam. So volcanic vault, the volcanic vault was a magic item that was a bonus, uh, at best buy during the SSA generation. It came in some of the starter packs. Um, it is, it, it basically just puts a skin on one of the, um, battle arenas. So I, I forget what the actual battle, the, the original battle arena name is, but like it, I, I, if I recall, it was like a water-based level, and then 
with the volcanic vault, it's basically the same thing except all like fire and lava and stuff. So, it, I mean, it doesn't really do a whole lot. Technically, they'll tell you it unlocks a new battle arena, but it's just really like a reskin of one that's already there. So, yeah, it's a cool little item, but unfortunately, kind of hard to find and getting harder <laughs> by the day, by the year. Um, so, looks like we got a few vehicles in here. There is our Sea Shadow, one of my favorites. And we got ourselves a Stealth Stinger. Uh, no, you don't. I, I don't think you need the Volcanic Vault to finish the game for anything. No. Yeah, it's, it, it is one of the rarest uh, SSA items. All right, we got the Reef Ripper. I don't know, Alec. I I, I always say I, I like the original version of the Sea Shadow way better than um, than the Dark Variant. But I don't like Dark Variants in general, so... All right, we got ourselves a Series 1 Drill Sergeant. And about time we got our Blast Zone. Got a Series 1 Trigger Happy. Haven't gotten all our starter pack figures out yet. Spy Rise. That's good. My my swapper selection is getting kind of low, so I'm I'm glad to see some more swappers showing up. And this is something I haven't had in the shop in a long time. Actually, maybe ever technically, because I think the last one I had was broken. We have a gold rusher. I can't say that I have trigger happy to go with it right now, but here's hoping. Maybe we're not done with this box. Um, but yeah, this gold rusher is finally intact. Uh, last, the last one I had these exhaust pipes had broken off. Like I had the piece, but it was broken off. So gold rusher. All right. So that is everything in this little piece here. Like I said, this will also be available in the shop later on. Got ourselves a couple of portals. So we have a uh, trap team portal, just the standard portal for PS3, uh, 4, Wii, and Wii U. And the superchargers portal as well. Same deal for your PlayStation and Nintendo consoles. Set those aside for now. Your gold rusher lost a wheel? How does that happen? I think you really have to try for that. <laughs> yeah, be the gamer. I th this is this is what I'm saying. When you don't just throw everything in the box and you like package it up either in bags or in, you know, these storage cases or whatever, like they stay together. Like when I ship swappers to to you, they don't fall apart. Uh Kobe. Go, go go check the price on the shop skylanderscharacterlist.com slash shop and the, all, all the prices are listed right there i don't have them all memorized right now um my gut says it's like 20 or 30 bucks i have to, I, i'll have to look at that again that's one i've had trouble pricing because it's hard to find them individually it's usually they're they're selling it like as the set like the the land action pack um so that includes trigger happy and the trophy sometimes or sometimes it's just the gold rusher and trigger happy and so i got to try to like split the cost and figure out what each piece is actually worth um but yeah prices are listed on the site right now whatever they're listed for is what i'm selling them for <laughs> everyone knows why we're staying intact and later. no no they, they've they stayed intact today there have been a few that have been 
technically separated, but the pieces were right next to each other, so I could put them back together right away. Um, but that that spy rise that I just pulled out was still intact when I pulled it out. Like I didn't have to put it back together. Leveled rubble rouser up to 17. Nice. I love rubble rouser. Underrated. <laughs> yeah, Chatterbug, I can tell you if, if it was just a bid for $14, it didn't stay at $14. Guarantee you. Unless it was broken. All right. We still got one container left in here. This one, they just put a box inside a box. So I have another box. Let's do this. But yeah, th this is going to be the last box in this lot. That's everything that was in there. Um, actually, before I do this, I need to rearrange my table. All right. Um, Alec, you wouldn't be the first one to do that. A lot of people play Skylanders while watching my streams. It's awesome. Uh, Eyebrow fan, uh, how do you tell the difference between Xbox portals and the rest of the portals? So if you've never owned an Xbox portal, I, I, I can show you here. Um, so you, you look at th this right here. Um, Right here, it, it's not going to focus on it because it's really tiny print. But right here where it says Traptanium Portal, if it's for Xbox, it'll say Traptanium Portal for Xbox 360 or Traptanium Portal for Xbox One. It'll physically say that printed right on the portal. And they, they've they been doing that since day one. Um, I, I, I can probably pull... I have a bunch of portals laying around. So this one here says Traptanium Portal for Xbox 360 that my camera is not going to focus on because it's too small and I'm holding it too close. But that's the difference there. There, There is also a different model number that you can look at if you want to memorize model numbers. Um, that's how I list them on the site and such. But yeah, the, the Xbox One specifically tell you that they are for Xbox 360 or Xbox One. All right. Uh, Joseph, yeah, if you paid, for, anybody that paid for auctions up through about noon today, central time, uh, all of that has been shipped. So whether auction items or just stuff you ordered, um late on saturday sunday or even monday morning here everything has been shipped so you should be getting an update on that if you check the tracking number you should have a tracking number all right <laughs> did i unbox a silver dino rank no no i did not um earthen avenger though we, we are doing quite well today other than these two what i'm calling damaged pieces uh we we started off real good with a nitro crypt king that had been painted um so that'll be either private sale or auction item uh we have a flip wreck who unfortunately has a bit of damage on like a dog got to it here on his hand and up on the sword here you can see some damage um but aside from those we also have fling kong uh, we got another ghost roaster. We got a gold rusher. I haven't found the rest of the pack yet, but we do have a gold rusher. We're not done. Um, and we do have a spotlight. So um, spotlight will be back in stock again. I don't recall if these are any pieces you need, but um, yeah, that's just like the first half of this lot. So we still have this box to go through and we'll see what we can pull out. 
So continuing on, we have ourselves a Crypt Crusher. How much was the price of the lot? Alec, once again, I, I'm going to ref, ha, have everybody reference the thumbnail of this video. I, I don't know if there's a way you can view it easily right now, but I, I have a brand new thumbnail for these unboxing videos. Thanks to to Brennan, be the gamer over there in the chat. Um, he he helped me create this. And on these thumbnails, I will have the weight of the lot, the price of the lot, where I bought the lot, and all of that that new stuff there. Um, so just to help you out here, I believe this lot uh, weighed 18 pounds. I think I paid $170. And I got it on eBay. So that information is all there. It, it should be there for every unboxing going forward. So you can kind of know what's going up there. Yep, 170 bucks. Um, is $60 cheap for a Snowblade Stormblade? Uh, yes. It, 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 unless, unless that price has come down um significantly that i mean that's an employee exclusive and one of the better ones in my opinion i i would pay 60 bucks for a snowbird storm blade i think i mean is it out of box i mean that might bring the price down a little bit but that i, I still think that's a great price go for it all right um got ourselves a bushwhack been selling a few of these in the shop recently, so good to see him coming back. Like I said, we haven't finished off our starter pack figures yet, so there's our Stealth Elf. Series 3 Stealth Elf. Uh, bottom half of Free Ranger, set him aside for now. Got ourselves a Sky Mebo who is damaged. Man, they had pets. Okay, so here's a turbocharged Donkey Kong um, with a chewed up base. So still rotates just fine. So I think the chip should be safe, but the base is chewed up and even a little bit of the engine there. So we'll set that one to the side and either private sale or auction item. Uh, we got ourselves a trophy. The C trophy. It's not the land trophy that we're looking for to go with uh, um, the gold rusher, but trophy nonetheless. Okay, Chase, th thank you for bringing that up. Really, Snowbrite Stormblade inbox for 65. Wow, I didn't know they had dropped that much. I kind of want that. I, I might have to look into that one guy selling a bunch of them i always wonder how how one guy gets a hold of a bunch of rare variants like that i see that from time to time uh have we found a bowser yet not today not today we don't have a bowser but we're not done so maybe we'll find out uh got ourselves a thump truck another one of my favorite vehicles Another giant crusher. Yeah, Chase, that is the question. What was the Snowbrite Storm Blade legit, as far as you can tell? Yes, good go ahead. I I told you that before. I don't mind you using it. Go for it. Cabbage King, welcome. Yeah, I've heard about that. You get some weird situations from time to time. Ooh, we have some traps in here. A couple of them. Pull these all out right away. At least the ones I can see. Uh, we got, of course, the life hammer. Then we have an air screamer. Like, I mean, you can see with this one already. Like, this is what I was talking about with 
with stuff starting to go clear. Like air ones are supposed to be a little bit darker than this, but there is some blue dye in here. Yeah, it's not completely clear. This is the mid range one. Um, kind of like this water angel trap. Like this is supposed to be dark blue. There, there is a hint, just a hint of blue in this thing. Um, but it's a mostly clear water angel trap. So, yeah, I, I, I think whoever's collection this was got in kind of on the the back end of trap team is what it seems like, because they, they they're getting the the lob star we saw. What his stars were getting to be clear, not completely clear. Um, and then those two traps there. And just the fact that like, well, that has a spotlight, which came out later, but if they were in the store at the time, they could have grabbed one. Not a lot of early like SSA and giant stuff. It's been, it's been a lot of trap team, superchargers, no match changers though yet. So, um, You need a heavy duty sprocket. I I think I have some in well, actually. Ask and you shall receive. There you go. Heavy duty sprocket. Found one. I was gonna say, I think I have some in, in the shop already, but uh now I know I have one. There's a double dead trigger happening box. We'd be surprised because it's so rare and expensive. True. But there was a gold rusher, which I haven't seen in a long time, and usually they come in pairs. Sent me the link on Twitter. Oh, the the link for the Snowbright. Okay. Thank you. Sure enough. And it looks like he has two left yet. Snowbright for sixty bucks. Do you explain this at all? He knows that it's an employee edition, obviously. Yep. Never opened or tampered with. Item will be double boxed and shipped within 24 hours. Nice. I like this guy. I have four more Snowbright Stormblade employee editions, two with broken seals, five Snowder Dash, one with a broken seal. A 2013 employee exclusive, two Eruptor Thanksgiving Day parades, and one Master December, all that have never been taken out of the box. Please let me know if you have any questions or would like additional pictures. That's all in the description of the Snowbright Stormblade. Like, wow. So this guy must like either have worked at Activision previously and just collected them from employees that uh, didn't want them, or honestly just what was friends with enough people at Activision and, and collect them or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that trap is really drained for sure. You see, like Airship, I don't think they're they're all that rare. I see them all the time. And like I, I honestly think there are thousands of them out in the world. Like more than any other variant of things so i mean yeah i i i think they look cool for sure um but i i don't think they're that rare i don't think they're worth marking up or selling separately like i said if you see something that i unbox in these streams and you want that specific figure get a hold of me privately and and we'll make it happen like if you want those clear traps if you want the the lob star that has mostly clear stars. If you want any of these damaged items before they go for auction, like let me know, contact me. I'm, I'm always willing to make private sales. So Kyle B welcome. Welcome. Um, I do not believe we've had any chop chops yet. We're not quite done, but I haven't seen any chop chops. So all right, let's keep going. See if we can find a chop chop. Got a series two whirlwind. And a light core smolder dash. And our first mini. 
got a mini eye small. So red base mini. There's our another starter pack. Super shot stealth elf from uh super chargers. And to once again further what I was saying about uh um coming into the late trap team, here's a gusto with a lighter than it should be boomerang. Like it, it it's not completely clear, but it's not really actually I mean it is pretty clear. Yeah, I don't know. But oh wait, 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 hold up, hold up. This is damaged. Um, so he's missing his little uh belt buckle here. Gusto's pants gonna fall down. So yeah, that goes in the damage pile. If anyone wants cheap gusto, like we got that today. Need more light cores? Missed the 99 cent eruptor. Sales are only there for a week. Fusion man, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We got ourselves a hot streak. And we're going to have to check is this 601? Is this a special hot streak? Uh, for those of you who don't know, I tweeted about this this week, but the official count of unique Skylanders collectibles is up to 601 um, because of a hot streak. The hot streak that appeared in the mobile starter pack for Skylanders Superchargers has a unique tag in it and it appears as hot streak special in the game. Um, Pirate Dad cleared this up for me and he's like, it's because they made the hot streak vehicle what unlocks the full game um and so that's why it has a separate tag and that's why it has why it's a unique item it shows it shows up separately in the game in the collection menu um so there's actually i think five hot streaks now so you can get the regular hot streak this special hot streak that looks the same plays the same but it shows up separately in the game um and then the three variants you have dark you have the event exclusive and you have the golden hot streak. So, um, I roll, I, 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 re I believe I replied to you on Twitter about this. You, you can't, you can't tell the difference without putting it in the game unless it was, unless you get it in the mobile starter pack. It's the superchargers mobile starter pack. That's the only way you can figure out that, like, the only way you can know. That it's the right one um otherwise you have to put it in the game and that's what we're gonna have to do so uh we, we will do that today we will check that out and i can show you especially if it is <laughs> the, the special one um uh, i found i did have a special in inventory and i i kept that one for my own collection but going forward if i do find any special ones um it will be a separate listing in the shop for anybody who wants to pick that up if i if I'm able to find some more of those. So keep an eye out. I'm guessing based on this collection here that it's probably just the standard starter pack version. I, I haven't seen anything that screams, yeah, they had the mobile mobile version of Superchargers. So I'm guessing it's probably just the standard version, but um, I can at least show you when we get into the game later. Um, anyway, continue on. We have Series 1 Stealth Elf. Uh, we've got a bunch of bottom halves here. I'm just going to set them aside until I find the rest of them. Got another trap, the Tech Tiki. Oh, which I forgot to mention before. I, I got distracted by the other traps. So Tech Tiki, we also have the Life Toucan. Um, with the Tech Tiki being in here, there's a good chance that this is Steamed Broccoli Guy. So we'll check that when we get down to Trap Team. But this Tech Tiki was exclusive to the pack that steam broccoli guy was in the eight pack so there's a good chance this is steam broccoli guy but no guarantees i've i've had it before where i got a tech tiki and not steam broccoli guy so we'll find out all right moving along we have wash buckler still not done with our starter pack figures 
And there is a Popthorn. Fantastic little character as well. One of the few good air characters. Hmm. Another Scorp. We already have Scorp, but like I said, Scorp's on sale this week, so if anybody wants them, should be able to keep them in stock. There is a Dive Bomber. And a Series 2 Zap. There is Blizzard Chill. Series 2 Chill. For anybody wondering, no, this is the standard blue-lipped chill. Got ourselves a Series 1 Eruptor. And while well, this is a good sign, we do have a land trophy. So we have the gold rusher and the land trophy. Do we have trigger happy? Double dare trigger happy. We're, we're still looking for them. We'll find out. But the land trophy, that's going to be the first one for the shop. Haven't had that before. I've, I've actually had the, the, like I said, the broken gold rusher and one double dare trigger happy, but without the land trophy. So. Um, okay, so <laughs> got some questions here about blue lit chill. Yeah, sky supercharged and tropez. Um, there are a few different colors of lips, some of the earlier versions in particular, I believe. Um, there's a red lip, a purple lip, which I still debate sometimes the red and purple might be the same color. Um, but people who have been studying this longer than me and actually have. The different versions will tell you differently. So uh, there's red lip, purple lip, and I believe there's even one they call no lip, where like she's not wearing any lipstick. Um, like they, they just missed the paint on it. So there are a few variations. Um, the other one, the, the, the standard one, the one they mass produce the most of is blue. Like that's what ultimately we think it was supposed to be, what color it was supposed to be. Um, don't know what happened with the early ones, why they were different necessarily, but yeah, there are a few different colors of lipstick on chill. All right. Vangelis, welcome. Got ourselves dive clops to go with the dive bomber. And here is a shark tank. Do any of the magic items unlock a battle arena? Yes. Um, so in Skylanders Giants and Skylanders Swap Force, we, there were some uh, battle packs. So like we had adventure packs in Supercharger, or, or Spyro's Adventure. And then in, um, wow, in Giants and Swap Force, in, in Giants, they had both. They had Adventure Packs and um, Battle Packs. And then in Swap Force, they had Battle Packs. So the uh, in Giants, we had Dragonfire Cannon and the variant Golden Dragonfire Cannon, um, as well as the Scorpion Striker Catapult. Those were the Battle Pack items that unlock Battle Arenas. Um, and then in... Swap Force, you had the Archean Crossbow. And there was one more, wasn't there? I think there were two in in Swap Force. Um, someone can help me out with that. Or just tell me I'm wrong. But, yeah. You, you have two Blue of Chill, not surprised. They're, they're, they're super common. Super common. Fiery Forge, that... Thank you. Fiery Forge. That's that's the other one. So our key and crossbow and fiery forge in swap force. Those are the battle pack items and magic items, and they unlock battle arenas. So yes, yes, there are. Thank you to everybody who helped point that out. Uh we got a completion here for Free Ranger. And man. 
Jawbreaker has got I, I got so many good jawbreakers, but recently um he's he's missing missing his arms again. Like this arm is completely gone. This one has a nub. But broken jawbreaker. I guess arm breaker, not jawbreaker. Huh. Oh man. Why does the land racing pack cost so much more than the other packs? Uh partly because it's popular, because people prefer land racing over the other ones. Uh partly because it's trigger happy. People like trigger happy. Partly because it came out late. Um and just was not distributed as, as well as the sea and sky racing packs. Um that that's what I attribute it to the most is that it came out late and was not distributed as well. That's going to cause the biggest price jump, but it does help that there is some popularity there with the character. It does help that there is some um, preference to land racing. Uh, and people like Mario Kart over Diddy Kong racing, I feel because uh, Mario Kart tends to have more land racing as opposed to sea and sky. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that that's that's the basics of it. Just like any other figure that come, comes out, you know, way four, way five, it's gonna be more expensive because there weren't as many in stores. It's harder to find. They, they it was just late wave thing. Chatterbug, thank you for pointing this out. Tower of time and cheap brick island, uh, the adventure pack items also unlock some battle arenas. That's right. And in Swap Force, they just had so much extra content, they it unlocked like wh whenever you put something on the portal, it unlocks something, it feels like. Uh Eyebrow fan has a red lip chill. Nice. Like I said, it, it, it's more than anything, it's it's a it's a collector's item, right? So to me personally, I don't care what color chill's lips are. I I just want one chill in my collection. I'm not going to worry about what color her lips are. Um, but for some people who want to collect every little variation, they'll pay, they'll pay for a red lip chill. All right. <laughs> Hey, Earthen Avenger, I love Diddy Kong Racing. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore that game. But I'm just saying, I think there's a reason why there's, what are we up to? 10 versions of Mario Kart? 12? I don't know. But I don't think we've even gotten a Diddy Kong Racing 2. So, uh, Golden Dragonfire Cannons, they're not worth that much. Um, they're, they're, I mean, I, I think I have the regular one list at like 99 cents and the golden one at like 2.99 or something like that. N not not a big deal. They, they were GameStop exclusive. So, I mean, just a store exclusive item and it's not like a super popular item. So it's not a big deal, really. Kobe has a purple lip chill. Nice. Pumpkin he has no chill. You lost. You have no chill. You, chill, man. Chill. Yeah, uh, you, you lost yours. Okay, okay. Well, I have I, I have replacements if you need them. But we're not done with this lot yet, so let, let, let's finish up here. Um, well, that's different. I have a broken magic axe. I think there's a good chance that it still works. I have both pieces. Could simply glue them back together or just shove them back together if you want. Um, but it's going to go in the broken pile. And oddly enough, after I just said, I haven't seen many uh, magic traps that get clear. This one's actually getting pretty clear, especially the top half. But yeah, nowhere near as dark purple as it should be. Anyway. All right. We got ourselves a smash hit. Ooh, this will be fun for somebody. Oh. 
Rocky Roll. Haven't seen this guy in a while. Um, this is another late wave figure that came out around the same time as like Spotlight and Blackout. But uh, people just didn't care for him as much, really, honestly. All right, another mini. We got Bop. <laughs> Airship. This is a very nice lot, and and we're not done yet. Like the damage figures in here don't even bother me because, like I said, it, it, it's been a nice lot. Even though Flipwreck was damaged, um, we've gotten a uh, quick recap. What what do we get? We got Fling Kong, Gold Rusher, Spotlight, Bland Trophy, Rocky Roll. We're still going. We're still going. It's a nice lot. Got ourselves Voodoo. Series one voodoo. The only series there is. Um, got some more halves of figures. Let's see if I can start putting some of these together. Got a second wash buckler. Go figure. Um shoot. Oh, do we have two tops though? Nice. I think we do. So we got rubble browser. And ready to go. Second Rubble Rouser. <laughs> Once again, I have no idea why someone has two Rubble Rousers, but I love it. Unless, of course, one of them doesn't work. That could be a thing. And that's why we test them. But the sword was broken on a wash buckler. Thank you. The sword is indeed broken. And this is why I have you guys here. That's why I show things off, so we'll throw that in damage pile. Uh, got a few more minis here. Oh, another damage one. Okay, now the damage is like starting to get to me a little bit. But no, I we've had a lot of good pieces that are intact. So here's a terabyte. It's missing an arm or a hand. It's got a nub there. Um, man, you really have to go after these minis to break them, though. Other than, like, Mini Genie. But he'll be damaged. But you know who's not damaged? Power Punch Petvac. Looking good there in his black and red. And the name of the game. Series 2 Spyro. Alec, have a good day. But yeah, Series 2. One of the harder Spyros to find uh, back in stock here. Series 1 Cinder. Uh, Chatterbug, I mean, not super rare. I mean, I like him, but that doesn't necessarily make him rare. Um, he was, if I recall, one of the Easter figures. Was it Easter that year? Is that when the variant came out? If it was, I would say, you know, that makes him pretty common most of the time. So, um, yeah. Drill Sergeant is your only Spiral's Adventure character that is in a series too. <laughs> nice. Brian, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, he was an Easter character. Thank you for the confirmation. So, yeah, I, like I would say he Power Punch Petvac is not rare because he was an Easter Easter figure. And they they push those out to the store very heavily. So there are plenty of them to go around. Hey, folks. You know what we've been looking for? What we've been waiting for? We had the gold rusher. We found the land trophy. We got ourselves double dare trigger happy. The original. 
So ready to go to town. Ready to make some jumps. Thankfully, he seems to be intact. Yeah, we got the full set today. So that'll be hitting the stores later. But we're not done. We're not done. Don't leave yet. Don't leave. Uh, we got ourselves a boom jet. And we got ourselves a chopper. Kobe, I'm telling you, man, go 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 check the shop. Go check the shop. Whatever the prices are there, that's that's what they'll be selling for. Vangelis, thanks for stopping by. Yes, Courtney got the full land racing pack today. But that's not all. Hey, um, wait a minute. Is this? I got a broken piece. This looks like one of the sensei belts, right? I think that's what it looks like. Except we haven't had any senseis. I was going to say maybe, or does does this belong to? It is. Okay. I, I have the, the bro broken piece for uh, Gusto. Huh. Gusto, a sensei before we knew it. But yeah, I, ha I have the broken piece for Gusto. Yeah. Still goes in the broken bile, but if someone wants to glue it back together, go for it. All right, we've got a few more traps in here. Got a fire scepter and the earth hourglass. Undead hand. Water tiki. And I hate this dog. I hate this dog. We have a chaos trap. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. Yep, it will. Dog got to the chaos trap. Yeah. Like that there's bite marks all over the back of this thing. Um so I have a damaged chaos trap. There we go. We have a shark shooter terrafin. Uh, we got the other half. Night shift. It's okay. I'm not too worried about things like a, a damaged chaos trap. Someone will buy that. Someone will buy it. Uh, Overking, Rock, uh, Rock Candy Pinata. Um, la last I checked, somewhere around two to three hundred, depending on the day. I mean that, that that's one that that can fluctuate a lot depending on who's buying. Um, like if I were selling, which I well, if I were selling, I'd price it at like five hundred because I don't want it to actually sell. Um, but I, I'd price it towards a higher end towards like 300 and see if any bites on it, if we get any bites on it there. Um, but if I have to come down to like 250, 200, somewhere in that range, um, if I needed to sell it for some reason, but I would have a hard time going below 200 for something like that. Like pinata is already hard enough to find, uh, rock candy pinata. Yeah. It's a good looking figure. I wouldn't want to get rid of. All right, um, got ourselves a secondary uh, blast zone. There is a series one robot. Uh, Skadoo, we have not had an echo in the slot. Um, gotcha, series one stump smash. Anything cool? Just a minute. Oh, 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 actually, no. Here, I have one piece left in the box, which is one of my favorites. Um, yeah. Okay. So, unfortunately, that means that. Man, I've got some dog hair here too. Um. I do have the bottom half of Trap Shadow. So 
So he goes on the half shelf. I don't think I have the top half for him. No, I don't, I don't see one over there. So he'll go on the half shelf. Um, so quick recap of, of all the awesome stuff we found. So we, we have a, a few damaged items, actually half a dozen or so damaged items, but it includes things like a, a, a damaged chaos trap, a slightly damaged uh, flip wreck, who th there was definitely a dog in this house, we've determined. There's a few that things that have been chewed up, um, including this flip wreck, the back of his hand, the bottom of the sword, and the, the top of the sword up here, you can actually see some bite marks. Um, so that's unfortunate. Um, but there is, in the good pile, we have a Fling Kong. We have the entire land racing set. So we have a, a Gold Rusher, the land trophy, and Double Dare Trigger Happy. Um, we have a Spotlight. Can't forget about Spotlight. We got another Spotlight. That's cool. And we got... Uh, I feel there was more out there. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, Rocky Roll showed up rocky roll and i mean th there are a few other mid-range pieces in there but the other big one i want to showcase it's out of box but anyone recognize this this right here is patina lava lance eruptor So, um, this may actually go, I'm thinking this might be an auction item. I'm thinking that's my, might be what I do unless I get private offers for them. Um, I'm thinking chase variants I get out of box now in box or out of box might actually, um, I might start making them auction items. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. That one looks a little red compared to the other one. Um, what figure was this in reference to? Courtney, you're going to send me a private offer. I, like I said, I will entertain private offers. I always do. But do a hand, yes. This has been a very good lot. A very good lot. I've been happy with it. Um, so before I, I, I get too many offers, I mean, you, you're welcome to send me offers privately. Uh, Twitter.com slash SEO Matt. Uh, send me a DM. You can email me, Matt at SkylandersCharacterList.com. Or if you uh, want, prefer to use Facebook, you can also contact me through the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Skylanders Character List. Send me a private message over there. Um, there was another question I saw pop up here at some point. Well, so, someone was asking me, uh, Jojo, the damage take chaos trap, uh, Items that have some value like that that are damaged, I usually go somewhere somewhere around 50 to 75% of asking price, depending on the item. So I think chaos, I'm asking 10. I'd probably ask for like six if you want to buy it privately. But there, there's always a bit of room for negotiation. So, um, I think I saw someone asking again about the the land racing pack items. Um, w w th those I have listed up in the shop. So whatever the prices are there. Um, so you can go check those out. But like I was saying, before we get too far into this, we, we need to get into the second phase where we uh, test these items and make sure that they actually work and they are what they say they are especially with the chase variants and such um i want to make sure that these figures are legit 
and uh, your patina question above. Oh, um, are they not that rare? So the the high volt is actually more rare. The high volt and shield striker, I I feel, are harder to find than lava lance eruptor and the burn cycle. Now the burn cycle came out really late, like it didn't hit stores right away, and a lot of people didn't even believe it existed. Um, I had information that said otherwise. <laughs> Uh, so like I, I, I had it up on my site for a long time and I had a lot of people doubting me. Um, but yeah, it, it's definitely a legitimate figure. Um, so it is something that I wouldn't call them common, but I think especially the eruptor and the burn cycle are m more easier to find typically than than some of the other chase variants. I don't know if that's because they produced more or if it's just perception, but yeah. It, yeah, if you got if you got your high volt for 12 bucks, patina high volt, that's fantastic. That's a fantastic price. All right. Um let's throw that up on screen. Where is my stream? There it is. So let's check out some of these figures and might as well go right off the bat. Let's let's make sure this chase variant is what, what it says it is. Um is it not gonna read on the portal at all? Do I have the portal plugged in? What is going on? Hold on just a minute. Yeah, my portal doesn't seem to be working. Let's try this again. Lava Lance Eruptor Special. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> so, so, so that's the thing, JoJo. Like that wasn't even um, the the Traptanium portal. It was the Superchargers portal. So I don't know what's up with that. I've, I've been using that Superchargers portal to play Superchargers all week, or all last week. But I don't know. It didn't want to read figures today. So whatever. I put the Imaginators portal in. And uh, it's all working. So uh, we do have a legitimate Patina Lava Lance Eruptor. So there we go. Anyone who wants to make an offer on that, they're more than welcome. Looks like it's been played with because it's been reset. It is not level five, but um, My are so I'm going to go ahead and reset them too, just because it's not actually standard already. Born to burn. Uh, can I test Rocky Roll? I can do that. Yes. <laughs> roll with it. Rocky roll seems to work. Looking solid. And all these are like level two. Do they not play this game? <laughs> roll with it. Yeah, Rocky rolls there. It's all good. Yeah, here we are, part two of the game. Or the stream, I should say. Just gonna give you a quick recap of the figures while I test and reset all of them. And we're gonna have to hit all three games today. So I'll start here in Imaginators, test all the figures. Then we'll bump down to uh, Superchargers to test the vehicle, test and reset the vehicles. And then finally down to uh, Swap Force to hit the traps or trap team to hit the traps wow i'm not going to swap wars i've been off today i don't know but 
Yeah, Skidoo, um, it, it's true. The, the attachment point of Rocky Roll is, is a bit flimsy. Um, th this one, I, I, I will admit, is a little bit on the loose side, but it's still attached. Um, like, it, 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 it's not where I would call it broken. But, like, it, I guess it, it has a little bit of a wiggle to it. Um, I mean, you, you could put a drop of glue on it if you wanted. But, yeah, I, like, I wouldn't call it broken. So, it, it, it's just, just the way this figure was constructed. And I've never, I've never been a fan of, like, I still think they should, like, the, the, boulder down here should have been solid it's hollow like you pick up this figure and it weighs like nothing as as opposed to like thump truck or uh what was the other one i commented on today oh kaboom has some weight to him yeah exactly j j just i mean just a dot of glue will will stop the wiggle so it's all good All right, we'll keep this moving because um, I actually saw package number two got delivered while I was doing doing the stream. And um, package number two for unboxing number two today is even bigger than this one. I don't know. I, I don't know if that means it's better, but it's bigger. That's for sure. So um, I hope you'll join me for that. I'm going to, I'm not going to do it on this stream because these lots are both big in their own right. And so I need to separate them. So I'm going to treat them as two separate streams. I'm going to go through, finish testing these, um, get them listed in the shop right away. And then hopefully I'll still have time to come back for round two. So... I'm, I'm going to try to keep this moving. Uh, what time will he be on the shop? <laughs> um, yeah, so the... the like I said, I, I'm going to completely get this one up on the shop first before I even start on the second unboxing. Um, so hopefully within the next hour or so, I can get through these figures. And then I've gotten pretty good at... The process of of uh, um, listing the figures, I've been, I've improved my systems a little bit, and so that is going to help speed this along. And I would say, hopefully, within the next two hours, these should be up on the. Uh, the site the website collection show off how i figure out how you want to do that uh like you showing off your collection or me showing off my collection which which way are you thinking about um i guess they're, they're probably going to be kind of the same way but i sorry courtney without a doubt Echo. Punk Shock is common compared to Echo. I mean, Punk Shock is fairly common because she came out as an Easter release as well. She was shoved out to stores. Um, but yeah, no, Echo is by far harder to find. Yeah, there, there, there's a reason on my site I only charge what, like eight, nine, ten bucks for Punk Shock and Echo's like 60. Like, yeah, Echo for sure. Hey, um, anyway, sorry about that. To, to show off our collections to each other, yes. Um, so, sure, I'll, I'll share this with you guys. I, the, the, the way I want to do it, I think, is I, 
I'll probably start off with some of the SCL VIPs, which I know you are one of those, uh, and see if they if they want to join me in this venture. Um, but I would love to like showcase the VIPs on the site, and it could be like a a weekly article or video that kind of just highlights a different collector and how they got into the game, what their collection looks like, and and stuff like that. And so we can show off either still pictures if that's what they want to share, or if they have a video that, of their collection they they're they're willing to share. Um, Looking good. That is, I think, would be a cool way to go about it and, and get some nice airtime for anybody who wants to show off their collection. So th that's the idea that I had. Um, like I said, I, ha I haven't like fleshed it out entirely, but. Silent, but Did you know the difference between pop thorns? I, I I've seen I, I've seen stuff about that um, from time to time. That's another one. Um, Silent but deadly. To me, kind of falls in the realm of like red lip chill. Like I know it exists. I'm not going to deny that it exists, but it to me personally as a collector, I don't care. And like I I don't mean to to discredit anybody who does care about that type of thing. But as far as my collection goes, I'm not going to try to collect, you know, both versions of, of Popthorn because, like, they're the same in the game. Yeah, th th one has a different paint job, I guess, but it wasn't, like, intentional, if you ask me. Like, I mean, yeah, they came out differently. Yes, it there is a difference. Um, but, I don't know. Fury. Be the gamer is into collect your collection. Submit your collection. So cool. I'm glad you like the idea. Um, ooh, someone really liked uh, Whirlwind. Level 20 Whirlwind. A bunch of gold. To be, Impressive. To be. Uh, Wolf Shadow, has anything happened? Well, when did you leave? Did you did you see the final piece? Lance, yeah, you finally caught up. It, it it was quite a lot. It really was. Um, and honestly, it was it was better than I remembered. Like I I remembered seeing the patina eruptor, and like I, I I mean that wasn't enough to sell the lot for me, but I knew there were other things in the lot. I actually didn't remember that I was gonna get a spotlight today. Like I was excited for the eruptor, so. Chase, you like the collection idea as well? Cool. Thank you. Thank you for that feedback. Is the second unboxing stream today or tomorrow? So, Skidoo, I, I want it to, to, to be today. I want it to be today. Um, the question is just if I run out of time. Like, I usually, like I said, I have to cut off my Monday and Thursday streams because I have to go prep for my podcast and then record the podcast at night. But in anticipation of having multiple unboxings today, I did my prep work yesterday. And so I have a little bit of extra time today. So I should be able to fit the second unboxing in today. But the, the big question is going to be, when am I going to get it up on the shop? Because the second unboxing is definitely bigger than this one so it's obviously going to take me longer um but then once i get um everything unboxed and if i get it tested and reset i don't know like that might run into my podcasting time and so i don't know if i'll get it up on the shop right away um even if i don't get it up on the shop before i record the podcast i will stay up late tonight I always stay up late on podcasting nights because um, I drink a lot of caffeine at night for the podcast, so I'm so I'm awake for that. And so I will stay up after the podcast and get it up in the shop. So I'll be there either really late tonight or um, 
bright and early tomorrow morning for most of you. Looks like, um, chicken scratch like I'm going to try to get everything done before the podcast, but I can't guarantee that'll happen. It really depends how long it takes. Lance might have to snag a few figures. I, I, I think you're not alone, it sounds like, from, from what people have been talking about. But like I said, people are people like to talk in the chat. Say, yeah, I'm going to buy that. And then they don't. So uh, we'll see. It'll be interesting. If you're interested in, in some of these items, like I say, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Matt. And wait for me to post that. Um, hey, the shop's been updated. And if you jump on it right then and there, there's a, you know, I don't know, better than 50% chance that you'll be able to get what, what you're looking for. Oh, fired up. Wolf Shadow, you jumped on the second you started checking the figures. Okay. Um, well, yeah, so you saw the Patina Lava Lance Eruptor. That is legitimate. Um, But yeah, we, we we got a lot of good stuff today. We got Spotlight, Sling Kong, Rocky Roll, uh, the whole land racing pack, Series 2 Spyro. It was a lot of uh, Trap Team and Superchargers mostly. A few, a few from the first three games. Not a lot, nothing super special really. Very bright. A blaze of glory. Uh, so Courtney, yeah, the, um, th this falls in the same category for for me personally as you know the different pop thorns, the red lip chill, and that type of thing. But there is two paint jobs for drill sergeant. There is two paint jobs for whirlwind. Uh, series one on both of those, because originally drill sergeant was a Walmart exclusive, and originally um, series one. Whirlwind was a Target exclusive. And these versions had slightly different paint jobs than the versions that were produced later. Um, so the easiest way to tell the difference, obviously, is if you get one that's still in box and then says Walmart exclusive or Target exclusive. Those do still exist. But even if you can't find one of those, you... If you know what you're looking for, you can tell tell the difference. Um, if I could get if I could get the one the, the target Walmart drill sergeant whirlwind in box, like those would be something I might consider collecting. But out of box, I'm not gonna try to say, hey, yeah, this is definitely the Walmart one. No. Uh, be the gamer. We're going to listen to the podcast. So the, the podcast I'm talking about right now is not a Skylanders podcast. Um, it's a podcast I do with buddy of mine, Brent, where we talk about Star Trek. He was trying to get me into, to, to beam me up into the Star Trek fandom. The Let podcast podcast is actually called Beam Me Up. Um, so... I, I had started a podcast years ago where I was trying to get a buddy of mine to read the Harry Potter books. And he kept refusing and refusing and refusing. And finally I said, hey, what if we do it as a podcast? Because I knew he loves podcasts. He always made time for podcasting. And so that's how I went about it. And every week we read a couple of chapters and then we talked about it on the podcast. We got him through the entire series, watched all the movies, all seven books, all eight movies. And it was a blast. Got him to be a Harry Potter fan. Um, but then my buddy Brent said, hey, what if we flip the script on you and say, hey, you don't know that much about Star Trek. Um, let's try to make you a Star Trek fan. So he's taking me through the what he, he is deemed the essential items, or the essential episodes. We're not watching all 800 plus episodes of Star Trek that are out there. He He's... Uh, whittling it down to the essential episodes that I need to know to understand the characters, understand the plot lines, understand the series as a whole, that the message that Star Trek puts out there, and uh, trying to beam me up into the fandom. 
So that's what's going on with that. Um, now, I will say, I am more and more each day thinking about starting a Skylanders podcast. There are a few Skylanders podcasts out there. Um, mine would be different from that. I'm not going to try to do what they're doing. Um, so it is something that's been on my mind for a while. I've I've started four podcasts over the years. I'm only, I'm only doing the Star Trek one right now. But I've started four podcasts over the past six or seven years. Um, and it's something I enjoy doing. And I think I could pull off a decent Skylanders podcast. So it's something I think about a lot. It may happen eventually. Quentin, thank you for noticing the thumbnail. Um, we got to thank actually this guy, Be The Gamer. He's the one that actually did the design on it. Um, I told him what I wanted and he made it happen. So, um, yes, everybody, please not only thank Brendan for the uh, getting us that that nice thumbnail, but please go admire that thing. You'll see it on all the upcoming um, uh, unboxings. And like I said, in the lower right-hand corner, it will always have the stats for this particular unboxing. So like, it'll tell you, like I, I, I counted up and I think this is the 27th unboxing. At least that's what I'm calling it. And I'll be counting up from there. Um, 27th unboxing that I've done. It is, it, it this box weighed 18 pounds. Or at least that's what the label told me. Uh, it cost me $170 and I got it from eBay. So all that information will be right there on the thumbnail. So you can see what, what's going on with it. And, um, judged a lot based on that if you will if anyone wants patina high vote for 15 dollars open it for 25 dollars in box <laughs> oh man that's pretty good uh earthen avenger let's just say stay tuned you never know what might show up King of Portals, haven't seen you in a while. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't feel Spotlight's that slow. Spotlight is a, an amazing character. She she is quickly became one of my favorite when I was playing through Trap Team this past time. I love Spotlight. Her attacks are amazing. She had the, the knockback she has, she does great damage and has knockback from the get-go. From level one. It's hard to beat. All right. Oh, no. Had Brobo and a lot of other rare Skylanders, but threw them all in the trash. See, and this is why I say over time, prices on Skylanders are just going to keep going up because more and more people are going to do that. And they're not going to want to bother selling them they they're, they think they have no value and so they're just going to throw them away whether that's parents cleaning out kids rooms or just kids just getting rid of stuff and moving on and so i that's unfortunate very unfortunate okay uh yeah be the gamer if you if you want to give it a listen go for it we, we have like 100 episodes out there already. I know it's a lot. Um, and the episodes get better as we go along. Like we, we finally got our rhythm and we figured out a format that works for us. And the episodes get shorter as we go along. Um, we finally figured out what, what goes on. So we definitely need more Skylanders podcasts. So, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. Nice. Blue Bash for a buck. I'll take it. Nicole, welcome. <laughs> Where does your friend live? I'll search his trash. I had that I had that thought too. I'm like, if he told you he threw him in the trash, like as long as it's not past garbage day, like go rescue those things. If there I mean, if there's a robo, uh, I think yeah. That 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 was the dumpster diving comment. Okay, got it. Um yeah. Oof. Okay. Um I, I'm doing this all kind of backwards, so I need to rearrange my table again so I can keep scanning things. Just a moment. Straight to the point! Sharp 
Sonic's attack! Straight to the point! Chinks in this armor. Slash and burn. Star bright, star fight. Looks like I'm staying afloat. Star bright, star fight. Roll with the punch. Could be a Alright. Nicole found Patina High Vault. Nice. What is the most expensive lot? Um well the most expensive I like I've paid for a lot, if that's what you're asking, is one of the private um private deals that I made. I don't release the dollar amounts on those. Um well, that'll be something going forward with the thumbnail and stuff. If it says private, like there won't be a price listed, just because I I want to uh, keep that between me and the buyer, especially because sometimes the buyer shows up to the streams, and I I don't want to say, hey, I just gave this person a bunch of money. Um, private deals are kept private. Uh, just something I have decided to do personally for for my business so um, the most expensive one i've bought off like ebay my I, 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 i've spent a few hundred dollars on lots so it's like, i think I, I think i have one that's like 500 or so um the next one that we're opening later today is like 425 I think. Like I said, it's, it, it's much bigger than this lot. <laughs> you see, I, I, I'm not I'm not a big fan of Blaster Tron. I don't know. Can't explain that one necessarily, but I wish they all moved as fast as you on the map. Yeah, that that would be something. But that's still a, a welcome addition to the map. Is that they made all characters move very quickly? SCL clear variant. Yep, he reappeared. Yeah, but you see, I mean, even this little hex here. It's it's hard to tell because she's floating all the time. So her he doesn't seem quite as impressive as someone who's like running, running, running. All right, Skidoo. We'll see you. I'll be I'll be waiting to hear from you. He 
Do I have Robo? Force. Yes, I do. Yeah, I, I I have all the standard versions of all the figures. Uh, or the, the series one versions of all the figures, I should say. But yes, I have Robo. Um, I got all the all the Imaginators firsthand from the store myself. Um, didn't have to shell out hundreds of dollars, thankfully. I, I had him new in box at one point. I mean, I, I unboxed him. You can see that on my stream. Um, if you go back and look at the old videos from about four or, four or five years ago, um, I have an unboxing video of Robo. Do you notice Smolder Dash is small on her stat screen? I honestly can't say I've been paying attention to the pictures just trying to get through this quickly so i if she's small i hadn't noticed um i mean i know a lot of the old core characters look quite tiny on here but yeah maybe it's smaller dash is really small or they made a mistake i don't know just rendered her in the wrong size I'll make sure our spotlight works. Time to shine. With bunny ears. I guess someone else thought she was slow too. Illuminating Level 13 numbers. though. Yep. Farewell. Time to shine. Okay. Be the gamer agrees that she is small. There you go. Uh, Wolf Shadow, my favorite element is undead. That's that was uh, why we uh, on the unboxing thumbnail where we have that little card on the left hand side. We styled that on, after the undead element, although it's kind of become the SCL element, but it's it has the coloration of the undead element because it's my favorite. So yeah, we didn't get a regular Astro Blast. We didn't even get Legendary Sunrunner. We just have Legendary Astro Blast. That's weird. Level 20, though. Everything checks out. But that, I mean, that would have... I, 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 we didn't get the Sky Trophy. We got the Land and the Sea Trophies. So yeah, they must have just, like, bought Legendary Astro Blast by itself. Got a bunch of figures to go. Not sure we even hit the halfway point on this, which is unfortunate because this is going to be taking longer than anticipated. Although putting him up in the shop shouldn't take too terrible. Long. I'm on a hot so I still might be able to have all this done by four o'clock, maybe. Hey, I'm on fire. Over thing I like this. Tech might be one of the best if you think about about what's in there. You never ask yourself, is this character really a tech Skylander? I I mean, I think I can without thinking about it too hard. I think I agree. It, it's just tech is I mean tech is tech. Easy to create for. All you have to do is throw something with gears and call it a day. Like gear shift or jawbreaker even. Like, you look at Jawbreaker, and there's gears protruding from the robot. I mean, he's a robot and has gears. Like, yeah, it makes sense. It's tech. Stop. 
Ah, saw someone ah, say ah. that the chopper was damaged. Um, thank you for bringing it up because I did not see that. Let me no let me grab it and check. Slash and burn. The wind. Light core. Check it out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw me up on the big screen quick here. I did just notice here. Uh, I'm gonna throw this in the damage pile too. Unfortunately. Uh, blaster mind. He's got a big, big old tooth mark in his helmet. Where dog tried to get at it, couldn't quite, <laughs> quite grasp it. The way he can some other figures, but um, yeah, I'm gonna throw that in the damage pile too. Chopper, on the other hand, um, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm not immediately seeing anything that's damaged. Is there something I'm, that should be on here that's missing that I'm just completely blanking on? Like, his tongue seems to be intact. The propeller is intact. Little rockets are intact. I'm, I'm not seeing... Like, he only has two legs. Not missing that. He has two arms there they're both there i'm not seeing anything that uh i don't see any bite marks on him i think chopper's fine it, well, let me know if you saw something that i missed there Oh, there was a piece of gusto that someone thought was from Chopper. Okay. Yeah. So we so we had a broken gusto. Um we originally found him like this. Like his belt buckle's gone. I forgot he actually has a just a belt tie. And yeah, I guess maybe someone thought this was from Chopper, but you know, it's most definitely Gusto's belt. Um so if if that's what they were talking about, I I don't know. But yeah, um, he seems to be fine. As far as I can tell, Chopper seems to be fine. But thank you, thanks for bringing that up. Because um, yeah, I, I will admit there there are plenty been plenty of damaged items that, uh, like I'm just in the moment and and trying to handle the unboxing in a relative. <laughs> good amount of time I'm not dawdle too much that i uh sometimes miss out on damage pieces but that's why it it helps to have you guys here but don't don't be afraid to call out damage if you see it because i every everybody knows how i treat damaged items i'm I do not intend to sell them in the shop. If I sell a damaged item in the shop, you get a damaged item in the shop that uh, that you purchase from the shop and not from an auction. Because like that, that's where I sell damaged items is in the auctions, and they will be labeled as damage, and I will try to show the damage so you know what you're getting. And we got plenty of damage figures today because, like I said, they definitely had pets. Deadly. There's a dog involved. There, there, there's, there's a little bit of dog hair in, in the box that I'm gonna have to clean out. Catch a glimpse. Um, but yeah. Silent but deadly. Some of these were definitely chew toys. Thankfully, most of the expensive pieces survived. The rare pieces, the hard to find pieces. Um, 
The only like kind of questionable one was Flipwreck. And I had to put in the damage pile. So someone will get a good deal on that. Locked and loaded! <laughs> oh, and the chaos trap, I guess, too. That was the only other kind of high dollar item that I had to put in the damage pile today. And there's the first item we opened that was the Nitro Crypt King. That wasn't damaged per se, but it was painted. Someone decided they didn't like the Nitro paint and wanted a darker, more standard looking figure. So they tried to paint it, but. I mean, it, it, like I said, it, it looks like <laughs> how it would turn out if I tried to paint something. Monkey save, monkey doom! I'm in full swing! Monkey save, monkey doom! There we go, Fling Kong. Another one of the rare pieces. Cut to the chase! I'm trying to remember, did I just pull Chopper from the already reset pile? Level 20 shortcut, yeah! It's my favorite imaginator type. Um, so, offhand, I, I I don't know what my favorite type would be right now. Like usually, I would say something ranged, but. You could go and say, hey, Matt, the custom Imaginator you built is a Sentinel. So that must be your favorite. Um, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it's my favorite. I knew it was one of the hardest hitting, and that's part of the reason I picked it. Um, and I made sure that I could still give it some ranged attacks, ranged abilities. So I could still kind of, you know, use oh, my yeah. typical fight style. And so that is something I, I, I had to deal with when I was building that. So, I mean, I, I like the Sentinel, fair enough. Um, my go-to would probably be, you know, Quick Shot. I like ranged, um, either Quick Shot or Ninja. Because, uh, like, StarCast, I love StarCast, who is very similar to Lobstar, before they had battle classes, right? Have a lot of range, can fire things very quickly. And arguably quicker than a quick shot. So, yeah, that'd be cool. Gonna do a weekly run to a local thrift store, see if there's any Skylanders. Go for it, Overking. Let us know how it goes. Um, I, I'm telling you, shop local. Might not always find things, but if you do it regularly enough, you'll you'll find those deals. You'll find them. Or an Avenger that Crypt King could be painted over to make a cool custom. Like a skull chop chop edit. Yeah. Uh it, it, it could be. Absolutely could be. I mean, before painting over it again, I would recommend stripping off the old paint. But um yeah, you can do something with you want. Except it'll either be private sale or auction sale. So if I don't get it, get an offer for it privately, that that very well might go up for auction this weekend. It's better. You can do what you will with it. Do hand you miss much of the stream? Oh, well that's not good. Someone's breaking into cars. Caught the end of the box. And yeah, a lot of trap team for sure. Um, we did get a power punch pet vac, not the standard, but the power punch variant. Um, no with no whisper alpha breeze though. So if you're looking for, well, you say pet vax. So yeah, we, we, we got power punch. Um, I think I, I think I tested him already. So yeah, he won't, he won't pop up again, but we got power punch pet vac. Go fish. Strap to the 
kills. Go fish. All right, I need to rearrange the table a little bit more. I'll be back. Test these yeah, damage yeah. figures too before I leave here. I'll probably do that now before I forget. Booga, all right. <laughs> Rip Tide's voice is so legit. Hey, Boom, I don't know. I, I, I don't have a sound on for me right now. I don't have my headphones on, so I can't actually hear it. Is he one of the ones that's like Australian or something like that, or just have some accent? Anytime Skylanders have an accent, it always throws me for a little bit. I, like, I forget most of them have accents. I mean, nothing against it. It's just, I forget about it. King of the Sting! I always do my best. King of the Sting. Okay, I'm getting down to the last dozen or so characters. Plus, like I said, I got to do damage once, so maybe two dozen. Then, just a reminder that I will Let's switch over to Supercharger so I can test out the vehicles and reset the vehicles. Then we'll jump down to Trap Team and knock out the traps. And we do have to check to see if we have, uh, there's a possibility of a steamed broccoli guy today. Very good possibility, actually, because the, the traps that we got kind of look like the 8-pack. Um, that gave you, like, one of every element almost. But it includes the Tech Tiki, which was another exclusive to the 8-pack. So, uh, it's... There's a good chance that we, we have a steamed broccoli guy. Wow, wrong buttons. Um, no, no guarantee. Okay. The motion of the potion. Just a very masculine voice. Okay. The sky's the limit. Hawk and Nature calls. Growing stronger. Uh, Cookie, I, I mean, we didn't have the birthday one today. Uh, we we just had the big bubble hop fizz, the regular one. So did did he have the phone nose in that? The no? motion of the potion. Or is that only the birthday one? Yeah, I don't see it there. But yeah, that's just the standard version of the birthday one. Be afraid of the bug.
Level 20 tree Rex. I hear Fabby. We have to see that one. Too bad he's not here. I have to watch the replay. Go ahead. Stake my day. All right. I'm get, getting this done faster than I thought. Yeah, 46,000 gold. Someone someone really liked Tree Rex. I mean, Tree, Tree Rex isn't a bad character. Just slow. And that, that's my biggest complaint about him. Um, but what I've always said is starter pack characters are starter pack characters for a reason. They're solid characters that are easy to play and have good abilities. But because they're starter pack and they're so common, like Classified. most people don't give them the time of day. The reason why a regular light core chill is more rare than her legendary counterpart. Yes, absolutely. You know, Level 20 spy rise as well. Um, so the legendary counterpart was just the toys are exclusive. And so those toys are ex exclusives, the legendary figures, all of them in general. Um we're going to be very, very common. They're, they're going to be very easy to find as long as you have a Toys R Us store near you. Now, if you're like me and my nearest Toys R Us was an hour and a half away, almost two hours actually, um, like I didn't... <laughs> Speaking of starter pack characters, level 20 food fight was 65k. Like they maxed out food fight. Maxed out. That's as high as it goes. Um, All the right ingredients. But the uh, regular light core chill was not a star exclusive. It was actually, I believe, a wave five figure. Wave four or five for sure. I think it was wave five. And so it just did not get uh proper distribution like all the other things so hard to uh come by J just like any other way four or five figure that you might see um, it's just in giants it wasn't quite as big of a deal as in some of the later ones, especially in getting to like trap team and stuff where where wave four and five figures are just near impossible to find sometimes um, sevenfold big boys in a lot. Let's well, let's do this recap. So we have a damaged uh, flip wreck, which was a bad start to the day. But um, after that, we made up for it. We got uh, Ghost Roaster Series Two Spyro. We got Rocky Roll. We got Fling Kong. We got Spotlight. We got the entire land racing pack. Double Dare Trigger Happy, the land trophy, and Gold Rusher. Um, we got Cobra Cadavera. We got a Patina Lava Lance Eruptor. That's right. We got a Chase variant out of box. Um, Patina Lava Lance Eruptor. Um, that may be about it for the big, big boys. There's a few other mid range things if you're curious, but. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that, that was the big highlights there. I think, uh, the, the complete land racing pack, the spotlight and, um, patina lava land disruptor are, are the three, three big dogs there. I think for today for this lot, um, but yeah, second tier fling Kong, uh, flip wreck. Did a class all good stuff own. there. Um, yeah ninja that's exactly what it is and like the the legendary ones are usually available from like day one i don't recall exactly when that one when legendary light core chill released that was actually that was actually before i started covering skylanders like i started covering skylanders during the third wave of giants and so um Showing signs of growth. That most likely would have been released already, and I didn't even know what waves were back at that point. And back to the max. All sorts of stuff. Wonderful fam. Yes, I did get a Cobra, cobra Cadaver today. Um, 
Yeah, we got Cobra Cat. We, we didn't get King, but we got Cobra. All right, so like three more figures here, and I need to test the damage, test the damage, test the damage. If I try to skip the damage, yell at me. Three more figures, and we'll test the damage. Um, along with the bottom half of Trap Shadow. I'll have to swap him with someone to test the bottom half. Let me do that now. Spy Shadow. It sounds like a good name. It's classified. There you go. Bottom half of Trap Shadow works. But he's going to go on the halves shelf. You know, because I don't have a spare top half. <laughs> Just going to ask about how many figures I have left. Yeah. So, um, like I said, now I'm down to like the last two. And then I have like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, like eight damaged figures to try. Although I can't, I can't test the Donkey Kong right now. Crash and burn. No. Um. Yeah, we're, we're getting down there in figures. Hello, small fry. Then we need to switch games and, and do the vehicles and then the traps. Crash and burn. Yeah, Zeb's a great character. I mean, I'm glad he got at least at least two two versions. I mean, that's something. I mean, a lot more than this guy. Roast and toast. He, he, Zap even got some variants. Uh, Dindigo, I can't test DK because it's DK and Bowser right. are only playable on Nintendo consoles. So they're only playable on Wii, Wii U, and the Switch. Roast and toast. Um, and the 3DS games. But Nintendo consoles. And since I'm on PlayStation right now, I cannot activate Donkey Kong. So um, that is that. Um, if you didn't know that, now you know. Yeah, it, th that's why uh, DK and Bowser were only in the Wii and Wii U and 3DS starter packs, and for the longest time they held off from selling them with Mind Over Matter. With uh, they, they didn't want to sell them separately just to avoid confusion. Like, they didn't want people to think that, hey, I can just pick up this Donkey Kong single pack and play it on my PlayStation. No, so they only sold them with Nintendo console starter packs for for a while. Eventually, we did get the um, two packs, the double packs that had, like, DK and the Barrel Blaster, and we did get a pack that had Bowser and uh, Clown Cruiser separately. But it wasn't until much later in the release, and even then, like they had huge disclaimers on the boxes that people didn't read, and that's why they didn't want to sell them that way. But eventually, they did. Taking the world by they did. Storm. I part of me wonders if that was actually part of the initial release plan, or if someone down the line said, "Hey, we're getting too much kickback that you can't buy these outside the starter packs. We should sell them separately." I don't know. It's been dead. <laughs> yeah, Doohan. Um, I I have not had Dark Hammer Slam Bowser in the shop yet, I don't think. And that's part of the reason is he's so pricey. Um the, one of the biggest problems there is not 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 only is it part like in a rare starter pack because it you know is limited to Nintendo and all that. But um, there are some Amigo collectors who actually do uh, count that as, as an Amigo. Not all Amigo collectors will recognize the Sky Amiibo as a thing. Uh, so they refuse to get Donkey Kong and Bowser. But the ones that do count them, I mean, they want Donkey Kong, they want Bowser, they want Dark Donkey Kong, they want Dark Bowser. Uh, they don't usually care about the vehicles as much, but they want the figures because they're they're amiibo. And so uh, yeah, we'll we'll collect those. But the, the dark Bowser has become kind of the unicorn of of that class. I am destined for greatness. Yeah, if you can get your, if you get your hands on one for a decent price, I got 
There's our Nitro Crypt King that does not look like that because it's been painted. Flipwreck, you should still work because you just got nibbled on your hand with your sword. Who's looking for a cheap flip Flipwreck? Level 20. Wow. They like Flipwreck. Flipwreck, like, I love the figure design, just not my play style. So if you, I mean, if you like a melee character, probably Making work out well for Just not for me. And nope, oh, nope, that's just DK. Okay. So we'll put these back and we'll have to switch games now. All right. Close game. Eject disc. All right. Um, before I go, do you know when to put Double tr Trigger Happy up for sale? So, Kobe, the the the, the plan still stands. I'm I'm almost done. Um, uh, testing figures here. I just need to test the vehicles and the traps. After that, I'm going to end this stream, and then I'm going to go update the shop. Um, so I'm hoping to have all of that done by about 4 p.m. sometime, so about an hour from now, hopefully. If you want to find out exactly when that happens, if that's a little bit sooner, a little bit later, pay attention to my Twitter, twitter.com slash SCLMatt, and I'll post on there with a link to the shop when the shop is updated. And so if you want to be the first to get on, I I, I mean, if, if you really want to be on top of things, I would make sure you have a Twitter account, follow SCLMatt on Twitter, and turn on notifications for when I tweet um that that's going to be your best bet that's going to be the way to get the most up to the minute information about the website and about updates to the website so that that's the best i can recommend right now um so i i, I would that that's my suggestion to you if you if you really want to know um my estimate is about an hour but it could be sooner it could be later so all right See if this portal's gonna read vehicles for me today. Still on the imaginary portal. Stealth stinger. Let Sunburn play with him today. Roast in toast. All right. Uh, first purchase getting back into mine. Skylanders fifty dollar lot with half the superchargers and vehicles, including dark blouse and dark clown crew. Nice. That is a very nice purchase. Because yeah, fifty bucks is the price of dark Bowser right now. Like 50, 60 bucks, right? I, I I'm not it's making that stronger. up. I think that's what he's at now. Stealth oh, oh, King, that sucks. They had nothing good. They did have a messed up eyes series three kill grunt, funny bone, wash rouser, no bug, <laughs> no buckler, no rubble. Okay, okay. And a lot was minutes from your house. Be the gamer, that's what I'm telling you. Shop local, shop local. You'll find the best deals locally. Shark Tank. All right, Kobe. Have a good day. Hopefully, you can get uh, the items you're looking for from the shop. Looking good. Shark Tank. This gold rusher makes it worse. Gold Rusher. Look like they actually played with most of these vehicles too. Got a few upgrades on there. Change some parts around. Roast and toast. That one didn't reset. Or did, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's I, I reset character again. I, I do that all the time. Reset the character instead of the vehicle. Gold rusher. Saw a couple for fifty sixty. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, the weed dark edition is like sixty seventy. Like people are crazy when you wouldn't. I, I don't get it. Yeah, Jindigo, um Facebook Marketplace does work pretty well. Uh, it's not my favorite place to shop personally, but yeah, you can find some good deals. I I have found some good deals there. Um, I don't know if you're around for a couple of weeks ago. I had a, it was a small lot, but it had like 14 Skylanders, but one of them was a blackout truck. And that was a Facebook marketplace find. I, I I drove like an hour to pick up 14 Skylanders because one of them was blackout and I got it, got the entire lot for like 20 bucks. I mean, that's a pretty decent price just for that lot, but most of the other stuff on it was pretty common. Crusher. And boom, blackout. I'll take it. <laughs> Can't even play as Bowser because you have PS5. Yep. I, I, I know how that goes. But as a collector, I get it. Chris 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 Chris. If you're okay with driving a little bit sometimes. Yeah. I mean, if you're okay with driving or honestly, sometimes just ask if they will ship it. Even like I, I had, I made a deal a few weeks ago with this, this grandma and she I, like, I don't know where she got these figures. If she's just a, you know, reseller that picks up lots of things that she think will be valuable or what. Um, Looking good. But she had this lot of Skylanders. It, it, there, there were a bunch of Imaginators. That, that was it. Um, like I, I've already Dive bought bomber. this and put this through the shop already. Um, but I bought her off of Facebook Marketplace. And she lived out in like, I don't know, Virginia or something like that. And she wanted like 180, but it, 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 it was it was the last lot that had Wildstorm. So it had Wildstorm and a bunch of other Imaginators. I'm like, yes, please, I'll take that. And she didn't have a list, like a shipping price listed. So I just asked, hey, would you ship this? It's like, well, I've never shipped anything before. I usually, you know, just deal locally. But I, if you tell me what I need to do, I'll do it. I'm like, perfect. And so I, I, like, I was patient with her. I walked her through. I'm like, okay, well, I, here, here's where I live. Let me know, you know, how much shipping will be. Get an estimate from here. And, like, and how would you pay? And it's like, I, I, I can pay you with PayPal if that works for you. And it's like, yeah, I have a PayPal account. Sure. And so, like, it, it was just a matter of asking. That, that's all it was. And so then I didn't even have to drive. I paid a little bit extra for shipping, but um, got it done. So. Reef Ripper. I mean, she was asking a decent price. I mean, obviously could have gotten a lot more if she sold them individually, but I gave her a decent price for the lot. I didn't feel bad about it. Okay, uh, Hot Streak. Let's see if this special or not. Hot no. Streak. Okay, so for anybody that's still here that heard me discussing 601 before. All right, so so this one that's on the portal that we just got was just standard. We'll reset that one. Hot streak. Um, then, I, then I can show you here. I can show you the special one that I pulled. So, like, legitimately right here is a special hot streak special. So this comes from the mobile starter pack, the iOS supercharger starter pack. And if we go into our menus here and collection, vehicles, land vehicles, you can see we have hot streak, just the standard version of hot streak. We have golden hot streak, which is also tagged as special. We have the hot streak event exclusive event edition, the dark hot streak, also tag a special. And then back here, we have a hot streak special. So there's actually five hot streaks that will show up in your menu. And that's why we had to make this one 601. Um, how much do you think 601 will go for? That's the question though. <laughs> is because we just found out like 601 is a thing? 
I have I, I have no idea what to charge for it. Um, and like I I just it, it's so new and we don't have a reference point. Oh, wrong buttons. Uh, we don't have a reference point for it other than like, well, what has the mobile starter pack been going for? But even that price doesn't really make sense because getting stronger. no one was selling that before knowing that there was an exclusive piece in here. And so we're kind of starting from scratch. Um, so it might take, I mean, first we have to see when I get one in stock. How soon I have to make this decision. Then I'll double check and see if anybody else has been selling them on eBay um, as special figures. Anybody else that knows. Um, and once we get that figured out, we can start to determine. I mean, I'm I'm tempted to say it's just a hot streak. Um, the mobile starter packs I don't think are even that expensive right now. So for the time being, it'll probably be quite reasonable. Um, and like I would probably, if I had to uh, price one right now on the site, I'd probably say 10 bucks. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's going to be super hard to come by. There were, you know, thousands of them out there. It's not as rare as a chase variant it's not any anything like that it's just you have to test it in game to find out <laughs> so i mean a lot of people are probably going to be able to just buy random hot streaks in in a thrift store and find one and hey i got one for 99 cents um so i i don't think it's going to be a huge money pit for anybody <sighs> Um, what is my favorite hot streak here? I I have a special um, bit of affection for Golden Hot Streak because, to my knowledge, I was the first one who found out about Golden Hot Streak. Like I was there at the store day one, and when I found it on the shelf, first thing I did was grab that thing off the shelf. Then I started taking pictures of it. And I sent him to every Skylanders hunter I knew, I'm like, hey, did you know about this? Have you seen this yet? And the answers that came back was no, 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 no. And then they started searching the shelves a little bit harder and deeper <laughs> um, to, to figure out if they could if they could find one at their store. Um, and like I searched Twitter and Facebook and forums and stuff, and I didn't see anyone posting about it until after I did. So, like, I'm not going like, to make make that my claim to fame or anything like that. You know, the website's my claim to fame. Um, but I, I do... Because I like, like, I... Of the experience tied to that one, where we didn't know it was a thing, I just randomly stumbled across it in the store. Like, I was super excited about it. Here I go. And I will always remember that feeling. So, that's my favorite hot streak. Like I said, I, I'm not a fan of Dark Variants. Um, the event exclusive one, yeah, is, is pretty dope. I wasn't expecting either the golden or the event exclusive to be in-game variants and they both are which is crazy to me um but yeah the, the, the e3 version the event exclusive version is a is a very close second as far as hot streaks go but the the, the experience the memory tied to the golden version for me uh, just barely pushes it out of first place And yes, I am intentionally pulling off on the Steve Rafferty. What was even the reason behind Golden Hot Streak? 
Yield for the shield. Um, n- no clue why they made it. Never got an explanation for it. Um, like it- it's another weird one because it's an in-game Jack variant, Jack. but they treated it. They distributed it as a chase variant. Um, like it was just randomly placed in starter packs, and we've never seen that before. It, it, it's just, it's crazy, and and of course it was in the year when. Um, okay, here here's the possibility for Steam Broccoli guy. Um, it was in the year. They don't have Broccoli guy in there. Hold on. Anticlimactic. Um, that they already had ridiculous amounts of of um starter packs that we had to buy that was the year that we were all rushing out to buy like seven different starter packs for anybody who was collecting everything on day one because we needed uh you know donkey kong was in one bowser was in another then dark donkey kong was in one and dark bowser was in another and then you had to get your standard one for your playstation and then all of a sudden hey you you had to get uh, the one for broccoli guy. There you go, Steam broccoli guy. Variant trap. Oh, you got the broccoli guy. <laughs> yes, variant official. Um, here's here's the broken magic trap. I'm actually just gonna I'm I'm gonna put the bottom half in, just because I can. Yep, still works. Because because all the all the electronics are in the bottom half of the trap. They don't actually need the top half. Time to serve but up some I do I do have the top half for anybody who wants it. But that's in the broken pile. Or damage pile. Um and then our chew toy chaos. Chaos. Still works. Yep. Um so we got this. Very well. That's cool. I grace is- so yeah, no no broken figures today, just damaged. Uh, everything works cool, and and a variant, a surprise variant. So that's there. Um, but yeah, that is everything. <laughs> Golden hot streak might just be to get people to buy the game. I mean, but that's the thing. It's like people who weren't into Skylanders wouldn't even realize that hey this gold car in this random starter pack is a rare thing an unusual thing like most people who might just be considering the game because you know they heard about it or something they're not going to be like comparing one starter pack to another to fa- see oh this one's different oh this one's special maybe i should get it like is that rare that like they wouldn't know any of that stuff so it's hard to say anyway um, I will be back later today. I'm hoping all of you can join me. I'm hoping you'll, you'll join me for, for unboxing number two. Um, but that is coming up later today. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to get off the stream. I'm going to update the shop. Should have that done by four o'clock. I'm hoping now, like I said, shouldn't take too long. Honestly, I might be able to get this done in 20, 30 minutes. So yeah, it should be done before four o'clock. I'm going to grab a bite to eat and then, um, we will, we will get, box number two in here and uh if we can get that started what by 4 30 or 5 um that'll give me yeah I, I i should at least be able to get that unboxed i don't know if i'll get it in the shop before i have to go podcast but um yes do a hand yes that that's exactly what i'm doing like the, the next move is for me to update the shop so everything you saw here is going to be going live in the shop within the next hour um, I'll post on Twitter as I always do twitter.com slash STL Matt. You can uh, follow me over there and see exactly when the shop is updated and yeah, you can jump on these figures right away if you want. Otherwise unboxing number two will be coming shortly after that. And probably I'm guessing about, like I said, four thirty, five o'clock, um, central time. And I hope to see you there, but I'm not going to hang around too long now because there's a lot more to come and I'll be here for many more hours. I'm going to save my voice till then. And feel drying out again but thank you thank you all for joining me this has been great 
I will be back soon. And uh, I hope to see you there. Later.